Well, I think uh, um, certainly what we've done in the fire program over the last 30 some odd years has been has been great. Uh, we've uh, we've been able to embrace the volunteer fire departments and work closely with them to to help them protect Texans. I think the work that we have done in uh, in uh, our forestry programs uh, in terms of assisting landowners and planting trees and better managing the resource, helping the resource recover uh, over from what it was back in the early part of the 1900s to what it is today. I think the Texas Forest Service had a, had a, had a big hand in that. Uh, there was a lot of research that, that, that has gone on over the years that the Texas Forest Service did. Unlike most state forestry agencies, we do a lot of research, whether it be in tree improvement or insects and disease or in just general forest management. We've done a lot and, and one particular example this sort of predates me but uh, was a little study that we did back in the night, we started in the 1920s on the Seeky State Forest down at Kirbyville and we planted a, a, little, a, little, a little plot of ground down there with slash pine in, in 1926 and the, the, the results of that study uh, 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 eventually evolved into the construction of the very first new, uh, uh, new Southern Yellow Pine newsprint mill in Lufkin in 1939. And that little rinky-dink study that we did brought hundreds of, hundreds of jobs and billions of dollars into the East Texas economy, all because of that one little study that we did. And I think there are, I think people don't realize the contributions that. Texas Forest Service has made to the economy, not only of East Texas, but the economy and the quality of life across the state. 